first. News Channel 5 Sophie Nielsen Coding joins us live from the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville ahead of the rain. Sophie, the Corps of Army of the Corps of Engineers has taken advantage of the nice weather over the past few days. Yeah, since it was dry, beautiful weather yesterday, the past couple of days haven't been that bad. They've taken that opportunity to open up some of their dams to get rid of that water ahead of the rains. And that means the Cumberland River's four feet higher. I just wanted to show you exactly how tall that is for some perspective. It was 31 feet and now it's about 35 feet. So that water level is higher right now. Now we want to take a look from Sky 5, which is actually flying over the Cumberland River. You can see uh, it just beautiful flowing down, but people really need to be careful because coming up time will tell you know how much the water could rise if it will rise during the next few days where we do have rain and some possible flooding concerns. We already had some flooding last weekend in Lebanon. A man had to be rescued. He was uh, in his car and couldn't get out when the water level rose. He had to be rescued. Police said that he was handicapped and actually living out of his car. So sad story there. And then also in Dixon, a couple was standing on their car when they had to be rescued from that swift water. So first responder is busy, possibly planning to be busy again with the flooding concerns. If you live near a creek or a river, you know that it's probably swollen right now and can get dangerous. Take a look at how fast the water is moving. That's another thing. More water in the river means a faster current. So just multiple reasons to be aware and be on the lookout for water uh, or water on the roads. Also, this coming the coming few days where we are supposed to have more rain. Live in downtown Nashville, Sophie Nelson, Colding News Channel 5.